Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today we're going to take a cabbage head, wrap it in a bacon weave, and throw it on the rec tech. Let's see what happens right after this. He's a bad beast on that barbecue on the grill of the smoker. He knows just what to do. He's a bad beast on that barbecue. All right, guys, like I said, we're going to be taking this cabbage head here. and We're going to be smoking it today. OK, we're going to be doing it on the Rectech 700. I've already cut off the stem and kind of cored out the bottom of it. And we've already created our bacon weave right here. Now, if you don't know how to do a bacon weave, there are several videos out there uh, on YouTube on how to create a bacon weave. I'll put some links down in the description block below so you can check those out. And we're going to be putting our cabbage on the Trumpo King. Okay, I've been having this for quite some time. The folks at Trumpo King sent me one of these. It's got a, a nice dish or basin to it. And you can stick your meat on there or your vegetables or cabbage or what have you to keep them vertical. Uh, and it comes with two spikes, uh, one a little bit longer than this one. We're using a short one today because we have a cabbage head going on there. Okay. And so we're going to go ahead and get this bad boy prepped up. So I'm going to bring you closer to the bar. All right, guys. So here's our uh, head of cabbage. We're going to go ahead and put some oil on it. Help it, uh, help the rub to stick a little bit. Okay. Ooh, we got a sliding around. All right. So we got some, I, I use Pam, but you can use whatever oil you want to use. Uh, normally we're using an uh, olive oil based Pam, but I didn't have any at the time. And now we're going to season our cabbage. Now, this is a uh, sweet heat rub. I found a rub online and then I doctored it up. You know, we did the bad beast thing. So I'm going to go ahead and put this all over our cabbage. And the ideal is hopefully the bacon will absorb, flavor will absorb into the cabbage uh, while it's cooking, while the fat is rendering. And then um, make it nice and flavorful okay so if I had to do this any other way I probably would take this rub here and um, mix it with a little olive oil and inject it into the cabbage head but we're going to try it this way right now all right so we got our cabbage head all seasoned up so let's go ahead and get our bacon weave in place all right so this bacon has been at room temperature so it's a little soft and stretchy so hopefully we won't have any problem getting our bacon weave onto our cabbage head. I'm going to roll it like this, flip it over, and hopefully it'll work right. Eh, close enough. All right, so let's move this out the way, get our trumpo king here. All right, I'm going to spray this just a little bit. And then we're going to place our cabbage head onto the trumpo king. All right, like so. I'm going to tuck in all the bacon. And like I have some spaces, so I'll try to cover those up with some of the leftover bacon. Like so. Voila. Tuck this bacon in. All right. All right, we got our bacon uh, wrapped around our cabbage head here. I'm gonna try to tuck this in as much as possible. And then we're gonna go ahead and get this out on the Rectech 700. So it's time to go get the smoker all fired up while this sits here and try to soak up a little bit of that uh, rub, which is probably gonna be hard to do since the cabbage is pretty solid, okay? But we'll see how it comes out. I know I have some gaps here, so I'm uh, hoping that the bacon renders and i'll try to readjust some of the bacon so we cover up all of the gaps in our weave okay so all right let's head on out to the rec tech Alright guys, 
So we're gonna put our bacon wrap cabbage on the Rec Tech at 225 degrees. I want it to go nice, low, and slow. As you can see, I hope you can see from here, and I'll zoom in some. We put some toothpicks around the bottom to hold the bacon to the uh, bottom of the cabbage. Kind of make sure the bacon adheres as much as possible. All right, so look, we're looking at probably two and a half to three hours. Uh, we want the cabbage to be nice and moist. All right, we'll come back and check it in about an hour. All right, guys, it's been two hours now. Let's check on our cabbage. Looking pretty good. The bacon is coming along nicely. Let's see how tender the cabbage is. Oh, no, it's still really, 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 really tight. So we're going to let this bad boy go for another hour or so. And we might pour some liquid down here in the basement just to give it a little steaming action, but it's probably gonna take away the crispness of our bacon, but I may try that anyway. All right, guys, we're gonna add about a cup of liquid to our pan here. Hopefully we'll get a little steaming action going. I increased the uh, temperature of the Reg Tech to 275, and we'll come back in another hour and we'll see how we're doing. All right, guys, so it's been about five hours now, and the wife says she believes it's tender enough. As you can see, our bacon got a little dark, but it's nice and crispy, and uh, our probe goes in pretty, pretty easy in certain areas. And so, so we're going to go ahead and pull it off now. We wound up putting in two cups of chicken broth, so let's go ahead and get it off and have a taste test. All right, guys, so I hope you can see this. I'm going to pull the bacon off and put it on the side. I know normally you would want to chop this up if you're if everybody's meat eaters, but everyone's not meat eaters in my family, so let's go ahead and slice some of this and see how it tastes. We're going to chop it up. Still a little tough. I wish I had marinated it a little bit by just cutting some of the stuff off the core off the core. All right, let's chop it up. I guess I should have got a sharper knife. All right, we'll get a little piece of bacon with this too. Let's go ahead and have our taste test. All right guys, since we only seasoned it, the uh, top of the cabbage, I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little bit more of the same rub that we had when we cooked it. All right guys, I know it's getting a little dark out here. The sun is starting to go down behind me, so hopefully you guys can see. So we got some of our cabbage and some of our bacon. Let's see how it came out. Hey, this is pretty good. It's smoky, it's juicy, the bacon plays well with the cabbage, and so does the sweet heat rub that I made. I'll put the uh, recipe for the sweet heat rub that I put together down in the description block if you guys want to try this. The uh, liquid that we put in there, the, the two cups of chicken broth, helps steam the cabbage very well. Um, I didn't want the cabbage too mushy, so it is kind of firm in some areas and stuff, but I'm going to cut off the remaining of this, chop it up, and then we're going to mix it up with the bacon, and we're probably going to add a little bit of sauce to it to make it a fantastic meal. But I love the smokiness of the cabbage. It's fantastic, okay? And the bacon is really, really crispy. So, and this is definitely worth trying. I think next time I'll inject it with some broth or inject it with some marinade or marinate the cabbage overnight and then wrap it and put it in, and it'll definitely, definitely give you a whole lot of moisture, okay? Well, that's about it. That's all we have time for. Hey, if you guys are interested in a Rectech grill, check out Rectech.com. Like I always tell you, you got some fantastic grills out there, okay? And that's about it. So, hey, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And if it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Hey, as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker. Mm. Time to make some cornbread. See you guys in the next video.